Friday. Let's come into a comfortable seat. So just wiggle, remove some flesh from your sit bones. You can come into a cross kneeling position or a, a kneeling position. If you are cross-legged, why don't we just cross our legs in the other direction? That means that is your non-dominant side. If you cross your legs, you will always, without thinking of it, put the same leg in front. Um, just acknowledging the fact that we have habits. And then close your eyes and just sit still. Notice the temperature of your body. Go into a space of feeling. Of course, we will also be thinking our mind is, is there, it, is, it has thoughts. In the morning, sometimes a little less active than in the afternoon or evening. But go into, when you notice your mind having thoughts, go and direct your mind into the body. Feeling the body, feeling the temperature, maybe feeling the energy of your body. Take two more rounds of breath. Slightly different start of our practice this morning. Open your eyes. We did this in yin yesterday. So there's two options. You can bring the hands into the shoulders or you can interlace your hands and bring them behind your head. I am going to set up our timer for three minutes just to start shifting and creating some heat in the body. You coordinate it with the breath. So I'll show you. You sit upright, you keep everything still, you breathe in to one side, breathe out to the other side, but you keep your eyes to the front. And that's the tricky bit, because your head wants to turn with. All right, off we go. If your playlist isn't on, put it on before. It's nice to do it on the music. Take a breath in, in, out. Keep your eyes to the front. Start to move from the waist. I notice I really quickly turn my face. It's quite hard to keep my eyes focused. So start to maybe find a dristi, a focus point for your eyes. Ah, the Emirates girls are like, okay, we've done this yesterday. I'm keeping my hands on the shoulders. We will start to build some heat. Go as fast or slow according to your breath. Keep your eyes to the front. I will tell you when you're halfway, because now you are breathing into one side, breathing out to the other, and we'll swap that soon. One third down. You can exhale out of the mouth, and nice and strong, or out of the nose. Keep your sit bones grounded. Keep your chest upright, really waking up the body. If you're noticing that you are breathing out, I'm breathing out to the left, so I want to change that around now. Maybe a little pause and then to the other side. Oh, there goes my eyes. Keep my eyes to the front. That means we're halfway. Stay with it. Move and breathe. One elbow, other elbow, twist from the waist. Yes, maybe the arms are getting a little tired. That's okay. Go into the sensations in the body. What do you feel with? Abdominals quite active. Keep going, almost there. Less than a minute to go. Focus your eyes, keep moving, keep breathing. In, out, in, out. Oh, my eyes left my dristy. Bring them back. When you get distracted and the eyes go elsewhere, Bring them back to your dristi. Yeah, good. Feel your body getting tired. Use your abdominals. Keep breathing. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, hips are still, three, two, take a breath in, hands to your knees, sit still, close your eyes and feel, just feel, notice, breathe and just feel the shift and the difference of the temperature of your body, maybe some tintling, some rushing, the blood pumping, heart a little bit more active. And that's what we do in yoga, we shift energy, we wake up the body, we awaken our energy and we align the body, mind and heart. And this could be a good moment to set an intention. If you want, you can place the palms together in front of a heart, with your heart. A gesture of greeting and also acknowledging and respecting each other. Let's move to a tabletop. If you haven't put your playlist on, put it on now. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Cat cow stretches, come to the center. Inhale, look up, tailbone comes up, breathe in. And then exhale, cat stretch round the spine. Let's add sides. So you breathe into the center, into your cow, and now cat to the right. So you press your left hand and your right knee away. You could even lift your right hand and your left knee in that diagonal line. Come back to center, breathe in. Other side, cat to the left, press into the right hand and the left knee. Test, you can even lift your left hand and right knee. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, cow. Last one, to the left. Exhale, cat. Nice. Come to a neutral spine. Bring the right arm up to the sky and create a couple of circles. Just loosening up that wrist. Open the fingers of the left hand. Reach up, take a breath in. Thread the needle. Right arm to the floor, right ear to the floor. Left hand can walk forward or you can come into a bind where you bring the fingers to the inside of the right leg. If you want more this morning, Softly press into the other hand and start to lift your left leg up to the sky. Link your vein, left leg up to the sky if you want. Find your balance, hold and breathe. One more deep breath in, bring the knee back down to the floor. Left hand in front of the face, inhale, right arm up to the sky. And then reach your right arm to the front of the mat. Lift the left leg just once, breathe in. Knee, nose, elbow together, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen, hold, bend the left knee, reach the right hand to the foot. You can hold on to it. If you can't hold on, just reach. If you can find the toes, start to softly kick the foot into the hands. Find your drishti. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. Inhale, reach forward and back. Right hand to the floor, supported side plank. Left arm comes up to the sky. And then if you want, reach your left arm next to your ear and really start to open the left flank of your body. Yeah, really arch the spine. Take a deep breath in there. Hand to the floor, left knee to your nose. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up, open the hip. Create a couple of circles. Equal weight in both hands. Breathe nice and slow. Maybe you want to drop the right elbow to the floor. Quite a funky feeling. One more deep breath in there. Runner's lunge. Lift the right elbow. Step the left foot to the outside of your left hand. Look forward. Breathe in. White pyramid pose, breathe out, three breaths here. Relax your neck and shoulders. Ah, maybe a lovely sigh, Friday, the weekend is here. Hands flat to the floor, runner's lunge, breathe in. Sink a little deeper, breathe out. Three-legged dog, left leg up and behind you. Downward facing dog, our first down dog of the practice. If you're not sure about where to put your hands and your feet, just quickly measure a plank pose 
don't move the hands and feet, lengthen the spine. Remember, a straight spine is a priority over straight legs. You've got another three to four rounds of breath here. Choose for stillness, which can be very beneficial if you're quite a busy person, if you feel that today you're not so grounded, or if you want to kickstart your energy, then maybe movement is what you need this morning. Know that you can always come back to child's pose instead. Child's pose is always available to you. Take another deep breath in. And then hover your knees just above the floor. For three, shift a little bit more weight forward. Two, knees to the floor at the same time. Come to your tabletop. Left arm up to the sky. Breathe in. Couple of circles in the wrist. Really open up your chest. Look up, inhale, thread the needle, left arm comes through, take your time, create a spacious long spine, right hand forward or wraps around and finds your t-shirt or the inside of your left thigh. And it helps here to press your left hand a little into the floor, as if you want to press your chest up. And from there, you can maybe start to lift your right leg up to the sky. These are all options, remember in yoga, we pick what feels good. I'm just giving you a variety of options so you can practice and have some fun with what feels good to you. Take one more breath, breath in, right knee softly back down to the floor, right hand in front of the face, inhale, left arm up to the sky, open up, reach it to the top of your mat, right leg lifts, breathe in, knee, nose, elbow together just once. Inhale, lengthen, hold, bend the right knee and start to reach with the left hand behind you. Maybe the hand finds the foot, open up the chest, find your drishti and breathe. Notice when you stop paying attention to the breath, it's okay, no judgment, no attachment. Inhale, reach forward and back, left hand down, right arm up, supported side plank. Arm can come over your head. It's just a variation that I prefer. It just feels so nice and open on the right side of the body. Take another deep breath in. Look down. Right hand down. Right knee to your nose. Tuck your left toes. Inhale all the way up. Three-legged dog. Open the hip to the side. Bend the knee. And if you did on the other side, you can drop your left elbow to the floor. Soften the neck, maybe shake a soft no with your head. Feel into the neck muscles, shoulder muscles. And inhale. Runner's lunge, lift elbow, step foot to the outside of the right hand. Look forward, breathe in. Wide pyramid pose, hold for three breaths here. Feel free to close your eyes, really notice the breath. Inhale, bend the knees and flatten the palms. Exhale, sink the hips a little lower. Lift the right foot, three-legged dog, nice control. Both feet down, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath into the nose. And then sigh it out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Rise, high mountain, arms come all the way above your head. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, high mountain. Lovely, exhale, fold forward, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Now step the left foot to the back of your mat, drop the knee to the floor, round the spine, chin to chest. So there's a big, like your fingertips as well, you're not coming, you're not hanging in, you're trying to resist the floor. Yeah, really tuck your chin. I even feel that here, it translates in the front of my left, left hip flexor. Take one more deep breath in, half splits, lengthen that right leg, you can come into your fingertips. Try to straighten the back. Mm. 
Lovely. Crawl forward, low lunge, tuck your toes, lift the back knee. Baby Hanuman, slide your left shin to the floor. Arms come up to the sky. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Now stand all the way up. So reach up, press into the front of the left foot. Hands to heart center. Samastitihi. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Empty the lungs, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Right foot steps to the back of your mat. Knee to the floor, round, tuck your chin. Feel that stretch in the back of the neck in between your shoulder blades. And if you tuck your chin a little bit more around the spine, you might feel it translate in the front of the right hip flexor. Take another deep breath in here. Half splits, left foot flexes, toes are really active. You can straighten the spine there, find your drishti, breathe. Low lunge, tuck your right toes, lift the knee, baby Hanuman, slide that right shin down. Arms up to the sky to lengthen the spine, hands to heart center, focus and ground. Stand up, press into the right front of the foot, both feet together, samastiti hi. Utkatasana, inhale, come sit down into your chair, then hug your right knee in towards your chest. We're warm enough, so let's immediately go into our extension of the leg. So if you want, you can whoop, find my balance. Keep the spine straight, you can try to extend the leg. What very often happens is when people start to extend the leg, they run around the spine. That's not really why we're here. Rather have the knee bend, but a straight spine. Good. Take a deep breath in. Figure four, your right foot on top of the thigh. Hands to heart center. Good. Now start to bring your bum back and your heart forward. Elbows can maybe even slide in front of the shin. We start to round the spine again. Bring your chin to the chest. Take one more deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Knee to chest, single leg to dasana. Maybe kick your leg out if you want something stronger this morning. Samastiti hi. <sighs> Lovely. Chair pose. Utkatasana, breathe in. Left knee in towards your chest, breathe out. Couple of circles, wonderful. Feel that resistance. Nice. Find your toe hook. You can reach the right arm to the side. Feel how the foot is pressing into the hand, hand is pressing into the foot. Then draw your left hip back. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Open the collarbones, lift your gaze, one more deep breath in, grow a little taller, figure four, guide the foot onto the thigh, hands to heart center, flex your left foot, it protects the knee and gives you more stability, and then start to round forward, nice, these are tricky transitions, huh? open hip, very good, very, very nice, for three, two, Stand all the way up, kick your leg out if you want to. Samastiti hi, exhale. Fabulous. Inhale, high mountain, bring the arms up. Empty the lungs, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step back, plank pose, our first shaturanga. Remember, you can be on the knees or on the toes. Shift all the way forward. Halfway, 90 degrees, one toe flips or the other. Remember and notice which foot flips first. What are your habits? And then downward facing dog all the way back to the sky. Take a deep breath into the nose. Sigh out. Playtime. I always introduce a little bit of playtime. You can do some donkey kicks. You can do crow pose maybe, if that's something you're working on. I know Karina might want to do a headstand. You've got a full minute to play and do whatever you want. Whatever you want. You're like, oh, I feel like child's pose. Also fine. 
Yeah, maybe I can give you some little suggestions there. Oh, lovely, Bobs. Look more forward, Bobs. Yeah, look away, look away, look away, look away, look away. Yeah, mina fora kijken. Yes, that's it. Awesome, shoulders above your hands. Lovely, Karina. That's it, Sam. Beautiful, focused hands. Keep breathing. Keep that eyes. Keep your eyes focused. You've got around thirty seconds. Yeah, that's it, Bobs. Nice. Awesome, awesome, nice and strong, good control. You've got around three to four rounds of breath. Whew, Thames, we should have timed that one. <laughs> Amazing, child's pose. Whenever you're ready, come to embryo variation. Knees together, hands next to your feet. Relax your shoulders and your neck. <sighs> and then just notice the shifts again. So when we did that elbow uh, warm up this morning, you immediately felt like, whoa, something has happened, my body temperature, same here. What is happening in the body? What is happening in the mind? Reset, reconnect. And through your breath, you can really refine some softness, some calmness. Let the thoughts in your mind be positive and kind, supportive. Hands come to the top of your mat, inhale, tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, three legged like dog, breathe in. Knee to your nose, breathe out. Inhale, three legged like dog, lengthen. To the right arm, exhale. Inhale, lift it up, three legged like dog. To your left arm, exhale. Inhale, three legged like dog, lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands. Beautiful. Look forward. Inhale. Baby Hanuman. Exhale. Arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Hands down to the floor. Breathe out. Standing splits. Lift your left leg all the way up to the sky. Hold and breathe. For three. Point your left toes. For two. One more deep breath in. Shiva squat. Exhale. Come all the way down to a spinal twist. Right leg over the left. Inhale, bring the arms up. Twist over to your right side. We're going to weave all those little flows together. Inhale, look forward. And then extend your left leg to the top of your mat. And slide your right foot so your feet are crossed. Funny little one. Back of the hands together as if you're going to swim. And then bring your hands to the pinky side of the feet so you can start to bend the knees. Both poles with cross-legged feet. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. Yeah, find your balance. Good, 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 good. Active feet, active toes. Flex the feet for three, two, let go. Feet to the floor, reverse tabletop. Lift your hips. Yeah, feet are hip width apart. Open up the shoulders. Take another deep breath in. Hips back down to the floor, rock and roll forward and back, forward and back. We'll meet in downward facing dog. You can jump, skip, or flow through a chaturanga flow, vinyasa flow. We meet in downward facing dog. Three breaths there, stillness or movement. Left leg up to the sky, take a deep breath in, knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged arm lengthen. To your left arm, exhale, good. Inhale, nice and strong, strong core to the right side, exhale. Inhale, three-legged arm lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands. Look forward, breathe in. Baby Hanuman, slide your right shin to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Hands to the floor. Exhale. Standing splits. Lift 
the right leg all the way up. Hold and breathe for around three rounds here. One more deep breath in. Shiva squat and bring that right shin all the way down to the floor. Sit onto both sit bones. Ground your left foot. Take a breath in. Lift the arms. Lengthen the spine. Twist over to your left. So your left hand is behind you. Start to lift the gaze. Notice if you're looking to the floor. Open up the collarbones and breathe. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the twist and extend the right leg. Feet cross on top of each other. Other side, start to bring your heels closer in and feel the resistance. Same as when you were standing and you were doing your toe hook. Really opening up so the feet press into the hands and the hands are resisting the feet. Both poles, try to straighten the spine. Try to roll the shoulders away from the ears. Broaden your collarbones with three, two, feet down to the floor, come into your reverse tabletop, and this time you can walk your left foot a little in and extend the right foot up to the sky, press it up, press it up, press it up, heel to the, to the ceiling, and figure four, your right ankle on top of the right, left thigh. If this is too much for your shoulders, just come sit down and do a boat pose. Maybe let the head drop or look at the sky. Open up the shoulders, open up the hips. Right foot kicks back up to the sky, breathe in. Both feet down, breathe out. Other side, left leg, press into the right heel, open up. Kick your left foot up to the sky, lift your hips a little higher, figure four, your left ankle on top of the right thigh. That's it, take three breaths here. Feel the heat, quite a big stretch for your shoulders, so notice if that's all right for the body. Kick the leg back up, breathe in, both feet down, hips down, rock and roll, forward and back, forward and back. Cross your shins, step or jump through a vinyasa flow. We meet in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is your ultimate reset. Check if everything is happy. Are your shoulders okay? Was that too much? Was it okay? That's, you can find that reset in down dog because it's such a symmetrical shape and you do it so often. So you can start to notice subtle differences. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Rise, high mountain, arms up to the sky. Hands to heart center, close your eyes just for three breaths. Notice, it's about observation. It's about noticing the shifts, the thoughts, the feelings. Chair pose, Utkatasana, breathe in. Right knee into your chest, breathe out. Find your toe hook, inhale, arm reaches, exhale, kick the leg forwards. If you want, start to bring the leg to the side. Scoop your right hip under, so there's an internal yeah, it's an internal rotation of your right thigh. Woo, look at good. Love it. Bring it back to center. Breathe in. Figure four, breathe out. This time, eagle your left arm under your right. A little bit more tricky. Start to bring the nose forward. Maybe your elbows slide in front of the knee. Maybe your elbows slide in front of the chin. How small can you make yourself? Making that hip stretch even more intense with three, two, arms release, knee into chest, single leg to dasana, kick your leg out for three, two, low flying warrior, 
right leg is behind you. Hold and breathe. Yes. One more deep breath in. Low lunge. Exhale. Knee to the floor. Look forward. Inhale. Half splits. Exhale. Now we're really warm. So if you want, we can start working to full Hanuman. If you have box, that can be quite nice. Full Hanuman is full splits. So your blocks can really come in handy because they take away some of the weight on the legs. You, in yoga, I've realized in Hanuman, and Bob knows this and Tams knows this too, you know me quite well, I take the advantage, and, and I think that both of you are quite similar, from your strength. It's because you're so strong that you can do so much. My real, real magic started to happen when I learned how to soften. So not use my strength, not use my outer muscular strength. So here, if you want, you can start to slide the knee back and then bring some weight onto your blocks. So you can almost lift yourself up from the floor. Now, pick over your right shoulder and I keep my right toes tucked. Why? Because otherwise the knee is going to go out, the hip is going to go open. You want to wrap that right hip back forward. Safety. It's harder. It's a lot harder. <laughs> it takes more time. And then just see. Now can you lift the heart? Yes. And now soften. Soften into the groin. Yeah, lovely. Ooh, la, 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 la. Close your eyes and breathe. Three more rounds of breath. You can release the right toes. Just make sure that the right knee is pointing down. One side will come easier than the other side. Ooh, the heat is building up. Nice work. Slowly come out so you can press into your blocks to lift your hips. Come back into your half splits. Remove the blocks, put them to the sides. Fabulous. Low lunge. Walk your hands forward. Breathe in. Baby Hanuman, breathe out. Arms up to the sky. Inhale. Hands down to the floor. Exhale. Standing splits. Right leg all the way up. Hold and breathe. An opportunity to do some handstands. So we're really opening our hamstrings here. Really opening the back line of the body. So you can either stay and really work your standing splits. If you're working your standing splits, do the same thing. Wrap that right hip back down. You'll notice there's a stronger stretch in the left hamstring. So if you open up that right leg, it can go higher, but there's not, yeah, you're not getting a lot of benefits to one day move, for example, to a standing splits. You can do some switch kicks. We've got three more rounds of breath. Right leg is up, standing splits, breathe in. Step back to a low lunge, right foot down, flatten the palms, left leg, three-legged dog, lift it up. Knee to your nose, exhale. Round the spine, strong arms, inhale. To the left arm, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. To the right arm, hold. Okay, this is also quite an advanced one. Why not? Let's give it a try. Let's have some fun. So flatten the right foot. Maybe step it a little bit closer. And then bring the knee towards your armpit. So same thing we did when you were doing the cross-legged legs with the boat pose. Hold on to the foot on the pinky side. You don't have to extend the leg. So now my weight is in my right foot. I'm going to bring more weight towards my left hand. So you come more with the shoulder above your wrist. Your knee is really close to the arm. And then maybe you can extend the leg. Just practice this. Just practice the holding if this is new to you. Quite a strong pose. Can you yeah, look under the armpit? Woo! All right, for three, two, let go of the foot. Three-legged dog. You are amazing. And set the foot in between your hands. Look forward. Inhale. Shiva squat. Exhale. Take another deep breath in here. 
and again come sit down onto the floor. Left chin down. Lovely, lovely. Oh, your little bubble. Oh, it's so cute. He's so cute. He wants to do yoga with us. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's try it cross legged boat pose. So your left foot is crossed. Lift up. I find it's a really fun pose. Really, really fun. Take a deep breath in and then slowly bring your heels down. Hold on to your left foot and let's start opening that hip. Forward and back, forward and back. Yeah, long flow. Long, long flow. Nice. All right, let's backpack that left leg. So you can lift your left sit bone and you just wiggle, wiggle. I'm holding onto the calf here with my left hand. Oops, my right hand, but your left hand. Yes. Good. Same thing. Your right hand is going to hold on to the pinky side of the foot. Your left hand is going to go down to the floor and then maybe you can open up. Sundown. Good. Fabulous. Take one more. Oh, he's so cute, Barbara. Here all your kids are there. <laughs> and then slowly let go. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock and roll forward and back. We'll meet in around four to six breaths. You can jump or skip. Come into Shaturanga all the way or step straight to downward facing dog. We're going to do all of that on the other side. So use your downward facing dog to reset the mind to notice if you're judging, if you are saying words like you should have done this, or why aren't you doing that? We are practicing self-care, self-acceptance, self-confidence, self-love, always on our mats. You girls are amazing for trying and coming to your mat. All right, let's have some fun. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway hip lengthen. Exhale, forward, relax. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down into your little chair. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. Wrap your fingers around your big toe. Right arm comes to the side. Extend the leg to the front. Hold and breathe. Maybe slowly bring your leg to the side and notice that the more you press the toes into your hands You can lift up and grow tall and reach. Yes Awesome Take another deep breath in guide the foot towards the opposite thigh right arm underneath the left eagle arms so we're combining our figure fours <laughs> The kids have taken over, Bob's, but you can hear my voice. Bring your little eagle arms in front of your knee, in front of your shin. Keep your eyes focused. Round, round, round. Maybe bring your chin towards your bicep. Big breath in. Arms up, knee to the sky, and then kick it out to the front. Lift up. Good. Hold. Take another deep breath in. Start to come to flying. So the leg starts to fly. No flying warrior. Focus. Level out the hip. Left hip is next to the right. One more deep breath in. Low lunge. Exhale. Knee to the floor. Look forward. Inhale. Half splits. And half splits is fine. So if you prefer to stay here, it will take time. You can also just start to bring the foot a little further to the front. Now this is already amazing. If you're here, just stay there. Otherwise, I like to tuck my back toes, walk the knee, slide the foot. Walk the knee, slide the foot. And then I walk my blocks a little bit closer to my hips. So the, the, yeah, the level of gravity here, my center line, my center of gravity is right above my hips and then maybe start to soften. If you want to point your left toes, remember you're wrapping that left hip to the front. 
It's not opening up. It is a lot easier. It's a lot easier. But now my toes are out, my knees are not aligned. I'm actually not even getting anywhere. Well, maybe to getting an injury. But so keep your hips square to the front. Flex your feet. Beautiful. Now soften. This part here, the hamstrings, start to soften. Fabulous. Two more rounds of breath. Let that heat build. Slowly, slowly, slowly come back out. You're in your half splits. Put the blocks to the side. Good. Come forward. Inhale. Low lunge. Flatten the palms. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Lift the right leg behind you. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Lift. To the right arm. Exhale. Inhale. Three-legged dog. There we go. Right knee. Left arm. I like to step my left foot in so I can ground the foot. And then the left hand starts to hold on to the pinky side of the foot. And just feel the foot is pressing, the arm is pressing. Ooh, my heart work. Let me move a little forward. And then it's just about bringing the weight from the foot to the hand. And the knee really can touch. You can just play with a figure four and then knee to arm. That is a really good exercise. If you can, extend and open up. For three, two, hand down, leg behind you. Amazing for trying. Step forward, low lunge. Look forward, breathe in. Baby Hanuman, breathe out. Arms up to the sky, hands down to the floor. Standing splits, same option as on the other side. So if you're practicing standing splits, Notice your alignment. So bring that left hip, wrap it back down. And then try, try to create space. Maybe some switch kicks, or just really focus here on getting the hips aligned, on creating that space. Notice the sensations in your right hamstring. Take another deep breath in. Shiva squats, bring the shin all the way down to the floor. Good, lovely. All right, extend the legs, right ankle on top of the left, bring them closer in. Let's try that one again, nice and fun. Check, 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 check. In, 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 foot, feet active. Woo, balancing on your sit bones, shoulders away from the ears, smile on the face. Take another deep breath in. And then come all the way down, hold on to that right foot. Start to bring that nice and little bit of space. Yeah, we're really nice and open, or I feel quite open this morning. Don't know how you're feeling, but we prepared our body nicely. Left arm, left hand loops over and holds on to the pinky. Now really flex the foot, flex the foot, yes. Bring it over your shoulder. Maybe now it's not flexed, huh? so actually just bring it, bring it, bring it high up. You want to bring it up to your, as high as possible. Now flex again, resist with the foot, right hand comes out quite a lot. And then start to lean and open up. Sundial pose. So it's important to ground through the right hand. It's, it's an important hand. It is pressing the floor away. Your left hand is pressing the floor away and creates an anchor. Yeah. One more deep breath in and then all the way down. All right, I've got one more. It is quite strong, so it might not be for everyone. It's actually, it's really rare for me, having done yoga for so long, to still do a new pose. And this week, with my colleague Maya, I did a new pose and it was like, oh, Wow, cool, this is fun. Obviously, I want to share it <laughs> because that's what I do. So, it's called Shiva. If you found this quite strong, just leave it. Look and 
maybe try your compass again. Otherwise, let's start with that left leg. So do the same thing. Make sure you feel nice and open. I could actually, it's called the Shiva, but I can, uh, yeah, it looks like a pretzel. <laughs> it looks like a German pretzel. Same steps. So you're hooking that left arm, a leg over, over, over. Yeah. Now your bottom foot is going to step into the floor. Bring that leg higher. Now you bring, so you're wrapping that leg, you bring your hands next to your ribs and you start, whoop, I don't have space because of my hard work here. So you bring your hands next to your ribs, come into your reverse table and start to open up the leg. Oh, maybe walk the foot a little closer. As I said, it's also new to me. It is quite a pretzel. Oh, one more deep breath in. Cool, hey? And slowly back. But it's strong. It's really, really nice tense. It's really, really strong. All right, other side. Time is flying. Also, just opening the hip here. It's so good. Just sitting here for a little while. Keep moving, keep breathing. Very nice. New poses, always cool. That's why it's also nice to practice with different teachers. It is, all right, lift it up, lift it up. Bring it around, flatten your left foot. The hands are quite close to your hips. So they come close to your hips, squeeze the leg around the arm. You can keep the knee bent, or you can try to start to press into the foot. I wanna slide a little bit more forward. Oh. Oh, it's so strong. It is so strong. Take one more deep breath in. Whoo! Ay, 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 ay. Nice. Big smiles on your faces. Fold forward. Let's actually do a normal, normal uh, brush brushing because we've done a lot of hip opening. You can even decide to turn your toes a little in. Maybe use a block. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Oh, I love it. You gotta love it. The body is just amazing. Find softness, find stillness. Give yourself a nice compliment in your mind. Just tell yourself, well done for coming to your mat, for trying new things. I think this was definitely, I could say, we don't really grade in yoga because all classes are all level because you can decide what you do. But uh, the flow was a bit intermediate, I'd say. But I'd like to challenge you. Rather that you're extra challenge than that you're bored, come forward with your hips. Let's do a reverse, oh, sorry, supported uh, bridge pose. If you feel like, uh, a normal bridge pose or a wheel, be my guest. I just want to really rest my hips now. I just really want to rest my psoas. Um, so it feels nice to just come into a bit of softer energy. Palms face up. Feel free to close your eyes. Three more rounds of breath. Oh, I love this pose. I can just feel how my body is going. Yes, yes, yes. Hip flexors, so good. Also a little inversion so the organs can relax. Bring your legs up to the skies. If your hips are on a block, that is quite nice. Also, if they're on the floor, let them drain.
and then we move to uh, in between happy baby in between plow pose now I normally don't really practice this but I know you and I know you know your body well if you have neck injuries do not do what we're gonna do next just stay here let the legs drain otherwise make sure your nose is pointing up to the sky and you keep it like that you keep it like that please don't turn your head um, because there will be some pressure on the neck and actually you want more pressure on the shoulders you want more pressure on the shoulders than the head or the neck so what you can do is start to bring the knees in hands to hips and then bring your toes but it's a happy baby variation so your knees are wide almost like an ear pressure pose variation you can hold on to your hips it's harder to breathe here if you want to come into a plow pose where you extend the legs, you can walk your hands. I'd like to interlace. Remember there's maybe blocks behind you, so you might have to move those away a little. Shoulder stands are welcome. You've got around five rounds of breath here. Otherwise, just let your hips, your pelvis rest in your hands and just be soft. Your body will tell you what your edge is. Listen to it. Don't let the mind override the messages of your body. Three more rounds of breath. <clears throat> Remember, if you use blocks, they're still on your mat behind you. So maybe use your hands to bring your hips to your hands, remove the blocks. And then just bring the hips down to the floor, blocks to the side, happy baby pose. Hold on to the knees, the ankles or the feet. Wonderful, wonderful practice guys, really well done. Slightly different, bring your left knee over your right knee. So it's like eagle legs, left knee in front, and then hug your knees into your chest, bring them close to your chest, and then bring your knees over to the left. If you want to put a block under your thighs, just to have a little bit of a support, do so. So it's a spinal twist with eagle legs, left leg over the right. If you feel that this is too much, just drop the left leg. Just let it slide off your right knee. And now try to ground your right shoulder blade. It might be very lifted, that's okay. Every exhale, you melt that right shoulder blade closer to the floor. Inhale to bring everything back to center. Find your symmetry. Maybe hip hop your hips. Hip hop your hips. And then right leg over the left knee. Hug them in towards your chest. Breathe in here. And then let the knees fall over to the right sides. If it feels like this is too intense, just let the right leg flop and fall off your leg. Feel free to close your eyes. Make sure your space is quiet. Warm, that you are warm. Inhale, bring the knees to center. Uneagle your legs. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Nose can come in between your knees. Deep breath in and then come to your Shavasana shape. If you want to put a jersey on or maybe some socks, I'll be your timekeeper. So just lie down onto your back and relax in Shavasana. I 
I will let you know when it's time to move again. For now, just relax and lie back. If you are in a really nice place, just stay. Stay in Shavasana. Relax. Then you can just ignore my instructions. Otherwise, with your eyes closed, just start to make some movements with your hands and your fingers. Maybe stretch all the way out. Ooh, with your and feel how nice and spacious the body is. Connected to your breath, mind-body connection, established, cultivated, hug your knees into the chest, rock a little from right to left. And then find the feet as pose, so you're going to roll down to your sides. From there, you slowly, when you're ready, when you're ready, take your time, come back into a seated position.
Place one hand on top of the heart and let the other hand rest also on the hand and the heart. Notice the touch, the acknowledgement of our beautiful, healthy, healthy hearts. The space where we connect, love, love others and love ourselves. I just want to again really, really thank you. This week I realized again that I just love teaching. So thank you for being my students and thank you for coming to the mat and thank you for letting me share what I love. I love, I love what I do. So thank you for supporting me and for giving me a sense of purpose, a reason to get up in the morning and prepare funky classes for you and just sharing this energy with you starting the day, starting the weekend. It's been an absolute pleasure to guide you this morning. From my heart to your heart, keep shining, keep smiling. Namaste.